first of all, I want to thank my seniors for um, providing me with loyalty, uh, providing this program with um, just faith um, in us. Um, they could have left. They could have. They could have transferred, uh, they could have did a lot of things, but one thing they said, they said we're going to stay um, through the tough times and we're going to get back to where we belong. And, um, to them, they kept this program alive and um, I owe them a lot. I can never repay them for what they gave me, um, a chance to coach them. Uh, it's just been a blessing. And tonight, uh, for Nils to get his career high and you know all the seniors that's played, on that 2011 team to go 16 for 25 is remarkable. And, you know, to say that best for last is great. And, uh, those kids are going to be terrific outside of basketball because their minds are, are selfless, their hearts are selfless, their vision, their focus, uh, their attention to details every day, not just on the basketball court, but off the basketball court in the classrooms. Uh, being role models and ambassadors for this great university is terrific. And, um, I owe him a lot, and I thank him um, for our opportunity to coach him. Um, this game um, was with Rutgers. Uh, Rutgers came in, and they shot very well. They, they played their type of game. They played their pace, but at the end of the day, we made stops, and we got a win. And, um, I'll take 24-6 um, going to Louisville, um, but we have to be together, and that's where we're going to be. And, uh, it was just a wonderful, special moment for me. Um, and get this win, no matter what, what, no matter what the five, six, ten, one, no matter. Uh, we got this win in front of some of uh, the greatest fans in the world. Uh, they've been here with us from thick and thin, and you know, just to see them show up like they did, that student section was on fire all night long, and you know, hopefully, um, like I said, we'll be back here in April celebrating. Coach, can you just talk about Shabazz's seven three-pointers today? It didn't seem to let the senior night affect his game at all. No, we just talked about uh, this is a great milestone on uh, senior night, and you pass that, but at the end of the day, you got to play basketball. Uh, you got to lead this team, and, and that's what he did. And, uh, we're going to have emotional games, hopefully, coming up, you know, where we're going to have to just continue to play and not get wrapped up in all the emotions, you know, the ups and the downs. And, um, I thought he did that tonight. He led, um, he shot. Uh, great from the three-point line. He was locked in. He was focused. And uh, Nils did a terrific job, too. Uh, we got to get back to our defense. Uh, I thought our defense uh, wasn't there like it was locked in with Cincinnati. But uh, we'll, we'll get back to that. We'll come back hard. And we got to rebound better. Just to point out some, some things that we're going to work on before we get to Louisville. Uh, DeAndre obviously hasn't contributed much offensively lately, but how big was his block in the, in the last minute there? I mean, it was huge. I mean, he's been doing that. You go back to a lot of games, I mean, tremendous blocks, um, you know, in a lot of games that we have. Um, he's foul trouble is getting him out in the first half, and he's not getting able to get his groove. But I thought he played a solid game uh, tonight, and hopefully that gets him um, going to another level. And, um, you know, I just know our guys going to have a breakthrough. Some of our guys are struggling, Omar and a couple other guys. I know it's a breakthrough coming. They just got to keep playing. It's just going to make us a better team, and DeAndre is going to have a breakthrough. Um, and that's, that's going to come here shortly. We just got to stay focused and have faith in one another and uh, finish this season strong in Louisville. Kevin, can you talk a little about uh, Shabazz's mature, maturing process over the four years?